Flare NeoFlex, just the name itself kind of makes you curious because flex can mean a lot of different things. Uh, it can mean that you are flexing your muscle, which is something that you often have to do with uh, manual espresso. It can also mean showing off something cool, uh, a new gadget for example, or it can also mean that a material is uh, slightly bendy, that it has some uh, flex to it. So actually I'm quite curious to see what type of flex this new gadget here is named after. The NeoFlex comes in a nice little box with most things you need to make good espresso. There's a pressurized basket that can be used with pre-ground coffee, as well as a regular basket that can be turned into a bottomless version. There's also a brew head, which is exactly the same as the Flare Classic. And then inside the piston, we have a new innovation, which is called the pressure release valve. This is something that is supposed to break if you're grinding too fine, and then the water will run through this pressure release valve, and then you can replace it at a later point. The most unique thing about this flare is obviously the plastic stand, which is something we haven't seen before. I'm gonna use the regular basket, since I have a real espresso grinder. The pressurized basket is only for pre-ground coffee or coarsely ground coffee. Then I put the preheat cap on the cylinder, fill with freshly boiled water and leave it to preheat. Measure out the beans. Since this is a small basket, I'll use a little bit less than I normally would. Then add the coffee to the basket. Here it's optional, but you can do a little bit of wise distribution technique if you're fancy. Then tamp, place the dispersion screen. Then put the basket in the stand, add the brew head, and then fill up the freshly boiled water. Insert the piston. Then slowly pull down the lever until you feel a bit of resistance and then back off. And that's going to give you some pre-infusion. Then slowly ramp up and if you're using a scale, then you can just continue until you hit your target. So how's the shot? Well, it's actually really, really solid. For 100 US dollars, this machine is really punching above its weight. And now it's also a good time to introduce this video's coffee sponsor, which is Coffee Bros. I'm using their espresso roast, which is really easy to work with. You get a big body and uh, some nice subtle flavors of fruit without really going into that acidic territory. So thanks to Coffee Bros for sponsoring this video. If you're interested, I'll leave a link down below to this coffee and then you can pick it up and also support the channel that way. Okay, so the shots are good, but what about the rest of the experience? Let's dive a bit deeper into the pros and the cons. Obviously, the price is the first thing that comes to mind. This one here is only 100 US dollars which uh, definitely makes it one of the most affordable espresso makers out there. Of course, there are a few other models, such as the Leverpresso, which is around the same price, and the Picopresso, which is slightly more expensive. But those are a bit more focused on uh, travel, whereas this one here is more meant for being on your countertop. So I think if we look at what other types of manual espresso makers are out there uh, that are meant for daily use, to be used on your coffee station, I guess this is uh, one of the more affordable options. The next thing I want to highlight is that actually this is uh, very similar to the Flare Classic in terms of uh, espresso shot quality. I don't think there's going to be any difference whatsoever between the original Flare and uh, this device here. And uh, if you're familiar with manual espresso, you know that uh, most people tend to really like the shots from the original Flare. It's a little bit of a standard in uh, that kind of world of manual espresso. So uh, this uh, also shows that uh, this is going to be quality because the basket is the same and the brew head is the same. So you can expect some uh, pretty decent shots. The last thing I want to highlight is that it's a very lightweight espresso maker and it's uh, pretty easy to pull apart. 
just uh, pull each side of the frame and then you can fold it up and uh, throw it into a bag and take it over to a friend's house or go travel. So in that sense it's also more portable than the other flares out there. As for the drawbacks, I can't help thinking that it's kind of a weird thing that Flare has implemented this uh, pressure release system inside the piston. I've used a lot of manual espresso makers over the years and I still haven't encountered this before. On one hand, it seems like uh, Flare didn't really have that much confidence in the plastic frame and then they made this system here to uh, make people uh, take it a little bit easy with uh, putting the body weight on the frame because they didn't really believe that it could stand up to that kind of abuse. With any kind of manual espresso maker, it is really annoying if you're grinding too fine, but uh, usually you will be able to get rid of the, that puck and uh, the hot water somehow, and it's not really a disaster. So I just found it strange with the, this kind of system here, because I don't really think it's to make a better user experience, I think it's to save this frame here. Another downside is that you can't use the pressure gauge. Well, officially you can't use it, I've seen people online uh, post uh, about using it, but uh, that's also something that shows that maybe Flare doesn't have that much confidence in uh, people using it and applying a lot of pressure to the frame. So again, this is a kind of weird design decision, and I'm not really sure if Flare has made it like this because of the frame or because they want people to upgrade to the classic. And if it was too easy to use the pressure gauge here, then it would steal sales from the classic model. So again, a kind of strange situation. Of course, we also have to talk about the plastic frame. In my testing, it has held up pretty well, but uh, it does sound a little bit creaky. And uh, I'm not sure as a daily user, it's the most comfortable experience when you can just pay a little bit more and then get a device with a steel frame instead. So to wrap it up, I think the Flare Neo Flex is probably the most affordable uh, daily use manual espresso maker I can think of. With a good grinder, you 100% can make really delicious shots. Or if you don't have a great grinder, it's also kind of an easy way to get into espresso and brew something with a kind of a crema and uh, learn a little bit more about the workflow. One thing Flare is really good at as a company is to take care of new users who are just getting into Espresso. So they have some really solid documentation about how to use the products. They have a very active Facebook group, uh, Brew with Flare, where you can always find somebody who can help you if you have any trouble dialing in. So compared to other manual Espresso makers, this is much more like buying into a community or getting into a hobby if you get this kind of uh, device. But on the other hand, the Flare Neo Flex also cut some corners. Uh, there was already one Flare Neo on the market, one that didn't flex at all uh, and had a steel frame. And it's only a little bit more expensive than this one here. So if I was out shopping and the old one was uh, available in a shop nearby and uh, not much more expensive than uh, this one here, then I still probably would go for the old Flare Neo since it had the steel frame and uh, you can definitely use the pressure gauge for that one and you don't have to worry about that weird uh, piston pressure relief system that they've uh, invented. I will not be keeping this one here, it will go out to one of my followers who won a recent giveaway, but uh, I will have more content about manual espresso in the future, including the brand new Flare 58 Plus. So uh, if you haven't subscribed yet, now is a good time to do it if you don't want to miss out on that one. And if you want even more content about manual espresso, then I'll put a different video here that you can just click and then I'll see you over there.